Welcome to the Golden Rooster. May I get you something to drink or anything to start off with? I'm fine, thanks. It's okay. What's this? Oof. Where's my dog and the dead horse? Uh, that is your lunch, sir. Stir fried chicken and veggies and rice. <laughs> so you stirred the chicken? You only have to cook it. What's that brown stuff? That, sir, is satay sauce with the chicken. <laughs> I wanted some dead horse. I'm sorry, sir, but we do not sell dead horse. Hey, we don't even sell any horses. We don't sell thoroughbreds, we don't sell ponies. We don't sell anything like that in our restaurant. <laughs> I just want a little, you know, for my sausage. I beg your pardon, sir? Well, it makes my sausage taste better and it goes down your throat much easier. Plus, I can give some to my cat. I'm sorry, sir, but we do not sell sausage or dead horse. Not to you or your cat. Why did you bring your cat anyway? And curiously speaking, what's her name? Well, her name's Happy Lamb Chop. I felt we need some R&R &R after the vet. She's not well disposed towards me or the vet. In fact, she's in a stinking bad mood. She gets even more bad tempered if she doesn't get her meat. Dear sir, well, best keep her in that night, carry her then. I don't think she understood you about the dead horse. I don't think I understand either. <laughs> oh, I don't want a dead horse or a dog. I want a tomato sauce and a meat pie. You know, dead horse, tomato sauce, dog eye, you know, meat pie. Those are different things. <laughs> Sorry, you, you, you said your cat had some trouble at the vet? Would you like me to bless it? See that man with the cat over there? There's something really not quite right about him. He said something about a dead horse and a sausage. I think we might want to keep an eye on him. What's he going to do with a dead horse and sausage? Don't know. He said something about having it for lunch, feeding it to his cat. You might want to check it out. How do you even get into here with a cat? Even we have standards. I'm going to check this out. Think you better. Wow. <laughs> 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 
Mm, Fluffy, here comes some dinner. She's such a good kitty. She, she, she really is. She, she wouldn't hurt a fly. Would you, Fluffy? Oh, yeah. You're such a good, such a good kitty. There we are. There we are. There's Jimmy. Come here. Come here. Big is that cat. Oh, no. I think she's been poisoned by the stir fry. Oh, no. I'll have to take her back to the vet. Oh, I don't think you'll like that. She didn't get enough this morning. Oh, I don't think his nerves can stand another visit. Please, fucking hands up, calm down. So help me, John. You let fucking nerves down the stupid infernal river. Now help me, God. I'll take my gun away to it. I will. Okay, God. I've been poisoned too. I ate the stir fry. Stir fry, I ate the stir fry. I've been poisoned. Help me. I'm... We're all in poison. Sir? Wait, no, no, no. He's, he's he's he said so. What's your problem? He's been poisoned. He's been poisoned. Right. He said so. Oh, Jesus Christ. Sir, I can assure you, you have not been poisoned. Please, will you stop this screaming and carrying on? You're upsetting the other customers here. Sir, please stop your cat from making those snowing noises. Frightening the other customers. Will you tell him to stop screaming about being poisoned? It's giving me a headache. And she's a bit sensitive after she had a nasty experience at the vet this morning when she had a suppository. Nearly the size of a golf ball it was. Oh, and now she's very upset. I bet you wouldn't like a suppository the size of a golf ball. She's smaller than you. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, the Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, give me a poison. You got a dose of 1080, you know what poison was? Yeah. Oh, if you don't all stop this infernal rag and I'm a good mind, dude. Oh, for God's sake. Why now? Oh. You're both giving me a save headache. Save us all from this Dear, you have to take a tablet from the doctor. I don't place. give a damn about what that quack says. Can I get you something now? Compel. Yes, some earplugs and strong tranquilizers, please. Oh, you don't have any funny things. Kitty, I'll give one to that cat and one to the other two. Sir, do you now understand? That you are not Looking being poisoned. Poison. You need to calm down and stop screaming. I will give you a free dessert. Compliments of the restaurant. If you calm down and stop carrying on. What kind of dessert? How about one ice cream with a sprinkle of black on top? Would that be okay? Black currant, huh? Oh, we've got a lot of them on the farm everywhere. I can have you. Let you have a. A uh, sugar bag full for, uh, say, uh, ten dollars a bag. Uh, I have to say, we never quite a taste them ourselves. Dear, they don't mean currants from sheep. Oh, you mean goats then? Yeah, I can get you a few bags of those. I hunt around and get you a few bags of those too. No, no. I think you better stop now, dear. I'll take your hat off. You're not at home now. Well then, that bloody feral better be quiet. Oh, I was reaching the point of its amending demise very soon. Okay, okay. She had a nasty experience at the vet. I have to take her to the toilet. She needs to relieve herself now after that chicken. Sir, the toilets are for customers, not animals. Well, if she lets go here, there'll be one hell of a smell. And the other customers might panic, think it's a gas leak or something. I don't think you want emergency services. The health department down here, the place will have to be shut down, decontaminated. Please keep it calm and quiet. I'll fix a stomach ache in a minute. I'd like to give Fluffy where it's called a stomach ache. It's called lead poisoning! Now, dear. Remember what the doctor said, you must stay calm. <sighs> I don't give a damn what that quack said. As long as that gibbering it is and that infernal feral stay quiet, or so God help me, I'll quiet things down, I'll go to the car, and I'll get old Bertha. No, no, you can't just take pot shots of things you don't like. You're not on the farm now. Oh, Think of your blood pressure. That's not nice. There's no need to talk like that, is there, my little Fluffy? She's just a little bit upset after a nasty experience at the vet. And then that chicken gave her a nasty tummy ache. Peep 
people like you shouldn't be allowed in public. And that goes double for that diabolical fiendish monster. Now, now, Poppy Lambchop, do you pay any attention to that nasty lady? Right, I've had enough of this infernal racket. I'm going to have the rest of my meal in peace. Dear, where's the car keys? What do you want with the car, dear? Not the car. I want the boot. I'm going to get old Bertha. Yes, I'm going to enjoy the rest of my meal. There's nothing like a bit of hot lead around its ears to quiet things down. Now, now, dear, remember what the doctor said about getting overexcited and your blood pressure? Besides, you can't go wave your guns around here like you do at home. We're not in the farm now, dear. Uh. Hmm. Those city people will just not understand. You can't say that. She'll get really mad and upset. What do you mean she gets worse? Yeah. Can you please all be quiet? Well, we're going to find out in a minute. Boom, boom. <laughs> I don't think we can come to the city again. It's too much for my nerves. My husband just doesn't understand that he thinks he can fix his little problems like he can at home. If he doesn't like something or he has homicidal fellow beast loose, well then, boom, boom, and that fixes it. Where is he gone now? I'm afraid to get his shotgun, I believe. <laughs> my check. We're leaving. They're all completely stark raving mad. Well, that's not nice. Wow. Wow. 